Today we'll be solving systems by substitution. And the only reason why we would solve, or one of my main reasons why I would solve a system using substitution, is when I see the two equations, I see that one equation is easily isolated. And in this equation, I see that this top equation can be easily isolated. And so we can write negative 2x plus y is equal to 10. Now, all I would have to do is move over that negative 2x onto the right side of the equal sign, and I have y by itself. So let's go ahead and add 2x to both sides. Negative 2x and positive 2x gives me 0. So I have y equals 2x plus 10. Now, this shows me right here that after I isolated the variable on the right-hand side, I have an expression of 2x plus 10 that I can plug into my second equation. And that second equation is 6 plus y. And where I see a y, I'm going to replace it by the parentheses so I can plug in that expression of 2x plus 10. And then I'm going to continue to write the remainder of the equation. So in looking at, I bring my 6 down, and I have 2x plus 10 is equal to a negative 2x. Now I just have variables on both sides of the equation, so let's simplify by x, simplify x by getting, adding a negative 2x on both sides. And then I'm going to combine like terms. So 6 plus 10 gives me 16. And 16 equals a negative 2x plus a negative 2x gives me a negative 4x. So I'm going to divide the negative 4x by a negative 4 on both sides, which gives me an answer of x equals, and this is a positive 16, divided by a negative 4 is a negative 4. So I can flip that around so my answer is x equals a negative 4. Four. So this is my x value in the solution. And now I have to go ahead and find my y value. And to find my y value, I said box to box. So I'm going to plug in a negative 4 wherever I see an x. And so right there by that 2x, I'm going to plug in that negative 4 and then write the rest of the equation. y equals 2 times a negative 4 is a negative 8 plus 10. That combined like terms, and so the y equals a positive 2. There is my y value right there. So in this equation of this system, I know that the, my solution is a negative 4 plus 2. Let's go ahead and try another equation. Let's go ahead and move this one back. And my next one that I'm going to pull out here, I can look and see what can I isolate really easy. Let's try the bottom equation this time. So I have x plus y equals a negative 7, where I see that this x can be moved over by adding a negative x to both sides. So now I have y equals a negative x minus 7. Remember, x minus x cancels each other out or creates a 0. And I know that this expression of negative x minus 7 is going to be plugged into now our first, our top equation. We're going to go ahead and write our top equation of 2x plus y, and the y, we're going to substitute this expression in for y. So I'm going to open up my parentheses, equals a negative 4. So when I substitute in this negative x, minus 7, I'm going to go ahead and simplify. So I have 2x plus a negative x. Positive and a negative is a negative, so it has a negative x. Positive and a negative is a negative, so it's going to be 7 equals a negative 4. Looks like I can combine like terms here. 2x minus x is x. 
x minus 7 equals a negative 4. We're going to go ahead and add its inverse. So we're going to add 7 to both sides. That gives me 0. And I have x equals 7, negative 4 plus 7, or 7 minus 4. That is a positive 3. So here's the solution for the x value in our ordered pair. So we can see that it is a positive 3. And now I have to just go, as I say, box to box. I'm going to go ahead and plug the value of 3 in for x. So I see that I have a negative x. So I definitely need to write down my negative sign, then put my parentheses, and then the rest of the problem. So I could plug in this positive 3. So I can see that y equals a negative times a positive is a negative 3 minus 7. So y equals, I have 3 negatives and 7 negatives, so I have a negative 10. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, y equals a negative 10. So this, the point of intersection where these two lines intersect each other is going to be at the point 3 negative 10. All right, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to part two of this video of solving systems by substitution. And if you haven't subscribed or hit the bell notifications, I'd appreciate it if you do that so you know when our next video comes out. Have a good day.